Hello everyone, it's Avery Dawnside and welcome back to another video. I am literally so excited to film this because it's very different from anything that I've ever seen done and it's kind of an idea that I've had in my back pocket for a while but I've just been saving it for the right time and I think now is like the perfect opportunity and so you're gonna have to listen to the little explanation in the video because like I said it is different from any video that I've ever seen done by any other creator and even by myself. So this is an interactive video. Not sure what I'm going to title the video. Probably like watch this when you're bored or something because this is an interactive video which means you all are going to be doing things while I also do things. So if you're a little bit confused, I'm going to explain. So basically, I was thinking the thought process behind this idea was you all ask me so many questions and get to know me like pretty personally, I would say, just like on all the questions that you asked me before. And as much as I adore doing that, like I love having you all get to know me. It's also very important for me to get the opportunity to know you all on a bit more of a personal level. And since I can't do that and I can't interact one-on-one -on -one with you all all the time, I figured this would be a good way to kind of combat that and so for today's video I'm going to be asking you questions while I also answer them. You're probably a little confused on how that works but basically I have created a Google form and that's going to be listed down below in the little description box. If I can I will also link it somewhere on the screen but if not go click on the description you'll see a little section that says click me for the google forum and click that and you can pull it up so you might need two devices or just to open a separate tab so you can watch the video while also filling out this form and all the questions on this are completely like optional you don't have to fill out all of them you can fill out some of them you can just listen along if you want to but i would love if you filled out the form because it's a great way for me to get to know you and to you know be a part of the interactive aspect of this video you know, we're trying something new. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be doing some training and asking you all the questions, but also answering them myself. So you can pause and fill out the little Google form section for yourself and then like listen to me answer or like type at the same time if you're able to do that. And then at the end of the video, you will just submit the form and later I'm going to go through and read your responses. And all these are going to be anonymous. No one's ever going to see your answers except for me. Um, and like I said, that's why all the questions are optional you do not have to fill out every single one but with that being said the questions are going to start out pretty surface level and then get deeper as they go along so again i'm putting this out there answer what you're comfortable with don't answer what you don't want to this is just for something for you all to do and a way for me to get to know my family like you all a little bit more personally and I really hope this goes well because I have been thinking about this so much and if it does go well please let me know down below in the comments or in the last little section of the google form because then I will love to do these again in the future with more sets of questions and if it's fun for you it's really fun for me to read and record and all these things so that's a little explanation we are gonna go ahead and get right into the video starting now Okay, so we are going to start relatively easy and the first question is what's your name? So you can put your SSO name. I believe that's what I put on the forum. I don't want you all to like share any personal information that you're not comfortable with, but if you want to put your real name, you can. Um, but for me, I'm just going to tell you all my SSO name. Obviously, you probably know by now it's Avery Dawnside. Pretty simple, pretty cool. I like it. Um, the second question is, what's your pronouns? And if you're not sure what pronouns are, you can go ahead and Google it. But basically, my pronouns are she, her. If you identify as a boy, you might go by he, him pronouns. If you are non-binary, you might go by they, them pronouns and stuff like that. This is just a question so that I can get to know you all more, a bit better, and how you identify and your preferences. So I go by she, her pronouns. The third question is, what's your favorite color? And... You know, this question kind of throws me off sometimes, but I would say my favorite color is yellow, but only like, it's more like a yellowy orange. I like, I say yellow, but a lot of people say it's more of like an orange. It's like a burnt yellow in my opinion, but yeah, I really like the color yellow. It's kind of like a sunflower yellow. Um, so yeah. 
the next question is when is your birthday so my birthday is august 9th i am a leo if you know <laughs> failing already but if you know your zodiac sign and want to put that in you can i'm a leo um but if i do this again maybe i'll have that as like a separate question um yeah the next one is how long have you been playing star stable so in total I have been playing Star Stable for eight years now, but I took a four year break in between. So I played for, I think it was like two to three years. And then I took the four year gap and then I came back around a year and a half ago, two years, like a few months before I started my YouTube channel. So probably like a year and a half ago. The next one is, are you in a club? And if you are, which one? I am in a club. This is my first club, uh, my only club on Star Stable, and it is Terrific Tigers. And I'm very happy to be in it. The next question is, what is an animal that you feel like represents you? And I actually have the answer like immediately. It might take some of you some time to like think of an animal, but I think an animal that represents me really well is a pigeon and pigeons are my favorite animal as well. But I think pigeons really represent me because they're kind of like cute and kind of weird and just like a little abstract. I don't know. I just, I feel like my personality is really reflected in like birds and things, but specifically a pigeon because pigeons, like there's a lot more to them than like what meets the eye in a way. Like they have like a lot of like hidden things about them that you might not know. Not that I have hidden things about me that you might not know, but I don't know how to describe that. Like they, they're a lot more like detailed than just like a bird or like a street rat as they refer to it in New York. Um, but they're special and they're like unique and cool. And I just, I don't know. I feel like I really resonate with pigeons in a, in a way. I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird, but I love pigeons. I think they're adorable. So yeah. <laughs> the next question, which is starting to get into the deeper mix of questions is how are you really? And by this question, I mean like really how are you because I know, you know, when you're in a conversation with people and they're just like, oh, like how are you? And you're like, oh, I'm good. And you might not actually be good. This is like asking like, how are you really? So I'm going to answer this. I'm okay. You know, it's not nothing crazy is going on. I'm a little overwhelmed with school and like work and everything, but I'm finding time to like balance everything. I've been super duper tired lately. I've been sleeping a lot. Um, but other than that, like everything's pretty okay. And I'm like glad about that. Um, so I wouldn't say it's like the greatest I could possibly be, but also not at my worst. So that is how I am. And I, I hope it's kind of the same for all of you, you know? Um, but this is your space to finally tell someone like how you really are. Um, moving on from that, what is something that you're excited for? And this can be long term, short term, whatever you want to put. Something that I'm excited for short term is today's a Thursday and typically I have class on Thursday at like 4 to 6 p.m. But I am skipping that class today because my equestrian team. Oh, yeah. Life update. My I made the equestrian team. Yay. <laughs> but my equestrian team is going on a shopping event and they like rented out um, an entire tax store that's the local to us. And so we're going to get to have the whole store to ourselves. They like staffed it. We get 10% off and everything. And we're going shopping there together as a team later. And I'm really excited um, because I'm gonna, I really desperately need a new belt because the belt that I ride in is like not, it's too big. So I've had to add extra holes into it and it just looks crusty and like not cute. And since I'm showing now, I need a better belt. I also want to look at some breeches and I need some new socks. I might look at new boots, but that's an investment and I don't know if I need them that bad yet. But yeah, I'm really excited. I love going to tax stores and like the people on my team are really nice and kind and like I just have a lot of fun and I don't have to go to class. So that's exciting too. Um, so that's something like short term that I will be doing in a few hours that I'm excited for. The next thing is what's something good that happened to you recently? Um, I can answer this immediately. I hit 8,000 subscribers, which is insane to me. Like, 
I cannot express to you all how weird of an experience this has been because it seems so surreal. I was looking back on Instagram highlights and like this time last year, I hadn't even hit 300 subscribers. Like this time last year was when I first hit my like initial growth spurt and I like jumped a lot um, from releasing the Dear Chestnut video or Chestnut story, I mean. And so now that I'm at 8,000 subscribers, it's insane. And actually, by the time that I'm filming this, who knows what we'll be at because I hit 8,000 and then like a week went by and in that week, it just kept like growing and growing. And I think today, the last time I checked, I was at 8,770. So we are getting up there for sure and it's it's just so surreal because my end of the year goal was 5,000 subscribers and here we are like middle of October almost at 9,000 and I don't know like I I'm getting a feeling that we might oh I don't want to say it out loud but I'm gonna say it but I I'm getting a feeling that we might hit 10,000 by the end of the year which would literally be insane because 10,000 is obviously a huge goal and something that I would love to accomplish. It's just I I wasn't expecting it to come so quickly, but it's so exciting and like you will have to see, but I'm so happy to have like so many of you joining my family. And if you are new, let me know. Like welcome to the family. I'm so happy to have you here. Like really it does mean a lot to me. So that's something really good that happened to me recently. Um, the next one is what's something not so great that happened to you recently? So this can be something bad or just something like meh. It doesn't have to be terrible, but it's your free space to kind of like vent about that if you want. And you know, this might take me like a second. Um, oh, I guess I could, I guess it's not an event, but I guess something not so great that happened to me like recently is so as like some of you know I struggle with anxiety and like typically it's at like a plateau like it's not super bad or anything but last night I actually had like a pretty rough night um I was just really anxious and like not in a good headspace so that wasn't very exciting um but usually it dissipates like pretty quickly uh I just like it's not fun to get in those mindsets, especially when you don't know what's causing it. Um, so that was something that wasn't super great recently that happened. It wasn't really an event, just more of a feeling. Um, and it comes and goes, but it's never fun when that happens. So yeah, but it's important to talk about because I don't want to hide that aspect of my life from you all. I want you all to know like I'm not perfect. I don't have like perfect life. I might come off as happy all the time, but it is not like that. So yeah, that's something that wasn't like super amazing that happened. Um, okay, the next one is what's something you wish you could tell someone? Honestly, I feel like there's a few things. None of it's like bad. None of it's like, oh my god, I'm waiting to tell someone I love them. Like the people that I love know that I love them. But I would say I wish I could really like truly tell you all how much you meant to me like I wish I had that opportunity to have more personal connections with all of you and like really keep up on like your life and check in on you all like and care about like how much you do and what you do in your life as much as you care about what I do in mine because I do care about all those things and I do want to know like all your exciting milestones and it's like fun to hear about those things but it's not always easy or I'm not always able to have those one-on-one -on -one interactions with you especially now that we're like continuously growing it it gets it's like overwhelming to try and keep up with all that stuff and I wish I could just tell you all like how much you really do mean to me like if I had the chance if I had the time the opportunity to sit down like face to face to every single one of you and like give you a hug and tell you like how much you really really have changed my life I would do it in a heartbeat like absolutely so I think that's something that I wish I could tell you all and I do tell you all through videos and stuff but it's not the same like I really do wish I could give you all a hug and like just tell you how much you mean to me and how like important you are in our little community and all of that because you like I cannot stress this enough like you all really really have like truly truly if you like this is the most genuine thing I will ever say. Like you have changed my life in so many ways that I can't even describe it. And 
that's something that I really wish I could tell you all face to face, person to person, because I think then you would understand a little more like how much I really do mean that. Um, and that's something that I've always wanted to tell you all. And I think that's something I always will want to tell you all. So yeah, that's my, my answer for that question. That was kind of deep and sappy, but it's true, you know? <laughs> um, okay. The next one is what's something you've always wanted to do? I have always wanted to buy a horse and many of you know that especially if you've been on my channel for a while um, I've talked about this in many many videos but my whole life I've always wanted to buy a horse but I do not come from a lot of money um, I am a self-sustained equestrian I like pay for everything myself um, and being an equestrian is expensive I'm sure many of you know that but I've always wanted to buy a horse and it's something I've been working towards my whole life but specifically in the past like year or so and we are coming around that time i made a goal that i would buy a horse after i graduate from university and that is happening in six months because i'm graduating a year early so i've been working a ton and like really trying to get like my money together and everything and i'm very excited for it and very like happy that i'm able to say that i think in 2022 will be the year that I get to do that and of course I'm gonna take you all along for the journey so don't even worry about that but that's something that I've always wanted to do and it's really surreal that like that's something that I'm going to get to do pretty soon and it's like kind of crazy because that's been a lifelong dream of mine and it's so like I can't even put into words what it means to know that that dream like something I've literally dreamt since I could have thoughts form in my brain is about to happen and I know I've worked really hard for it it's just very ah I don't know it's exciting it's it's very cool and I'm very excited and I will take you all along for the ride so don't you worry we are gonna be in this together um yeah <laughs> That's like really exciting. I don't know. I get all giddy when I talk about that, but that's something that I've always wanted to do. <clears throat> okay, the next one is what's something that you're really proud of? And there's a lot of things that I could say for this, like specifically like situations and stuff, but if I had to choose like one thing I don't think I would be able to so I would say something that I'm really proud of overall is like my personal growth um and I'm sure some of you are able to like recognize this because you've watched me grow on my channel for like a year and a half almost but I really am proud of my personal growth and I'm learning to pat myself on the back more than I do because like I'm not gonna lie there were some moments I like I've been through it and it, it was rough and I was not sure like where is gonna come out on the other side for some things but I really am proud of like my personal growth like I think back to last year when I was like living with roommates that like made my life miserable and I was so unhappy and like I think about how I had to like overcome and like um go back to riding after like I had like a lot of traumatic experiences with it and like overcoming my riding anxiety and like things like that and it, it's just very cool like it's very inspiring to see how much I've grown without even realizing it and like even my YouTube channel like I am so proud of that because YouTube was something I never expected to like take off or anything. It was just a fun hobby. And of course there was always that idea like in the back of my head, like, oh, what if it does work out? Or what if it does turn into something? And it did. And like, that is something that I'm so, so proud of. And like to put it into perspective, like YouTube was a fun hobby that I originally just was, you know, like started because it was quarantined and all that things. And I never imagined where, like how far it would go, but like how far it has come, like to put that into perspective, like you all are helping me afford a horse. Like you all are supporting a dream that I've had my whole life just for me being able to do something that I enjoy, like content creating and making videos. And that's incredible like that is so surreal to me and i'm so unbelievably proud of that so that's like something i will always be proud of um 
and yeah i'm really proud of all of you too and i this is kind of like i don't know how to explain this but i i'm really proud of all of you because i think on my channel something that i've always like strived for is to make this a safe space for all of you and i know that that's not easy um it's not easy for me to do because i was like kind of scared of like being vulnerable with all of you because i wasn't sure if it would be reciprocated but i'm really proud of all of you because you all reciprocate the energy that i put into my channel and have wanted like you all use this as a safe space to vent like you tell me like how it helps you and all of those things and how it's like so much more than just a youtube channel and like i am proud of all of you for being willing to like accept that and become a part of this community that like we've built together and I think it's just, it's very cool because some people aren't open to that. And I'm very happy that there are 8,000, almost 9,000 of you that enjoy that and are willing to be vulnerable and like talk about the things that we do. And like, I don't know, just be a little bit different. And I, I'm really proud of that. Um, that was like a super long answer. So we're going to move on to the next one. Um... What's something that you're really grateful for? I guess that kind of blends into the last question that I just asked you all. But I'm really grateful for... Hmm, I'm going to try and switch it up. I'm really grateful for Star Stable. I really am grateful for Star Stable because I also think about that too. When I sat down in, at my little family desktop, and I have a whole story time about like my whole star stable journey if you want to go and watch that but i really am grateful for star stable because although like the company's not perfect nobody's perfect like not all the players are like amazing there's not like the game's not perfect as a whole but i really am grateful for star stable and everything that it's brought to me like including youtube and like family and like partners and just like amazing things like that but I really am grateful because Star Stable gives me an outlet. Like I think back to when I first sat at my family desktop and just like was, I had no idea what I was starting in that moment. And like even when I logged back in for the first time when quarantine started, like I can remember that moment so clearly. And it's just, you know, it's really, it's really something that I'm grateful for because I had no idea how far I was going to go. And like you never know how far things are going to go, but I'm really grateful that the game exists because I don't know A, who I would have become without this game because YouTube and like everything that's come with it has totally changed my perspective on life and like so many things and helped me become so much more of like who I am and my authentic self. And I'm really grateful that I discovered it and like have it and it will always be something fond that I look back on and like am happy that I'm a part of. So I'm really grateful for Star Stable in general. The next one says, when I ask you to tell me a random memory, what's the first thing that pops into your head? A random memory. Oh goodness. Um... I would say the first thing, I don't know why this popped into my head, maybe it's the scenery, but the first memory that popped into my head was when I was younger, I used to go camping as a child, like my family and I always did a summer trip that was like two weeks long and we would go in our little camper caravan and I loved those trips so much and every year in the two weeks there was always for some reason a huge storm that would come in and we would like... <laughs> try and shovel the water like that was trying to flood our camper caravan out from like the mud with these like paddles and stuff for like little dingy buoy boats and I don't know why that's the first thing that popped my head but that's a little random memory I love camping I love the smell of campfire in the summer when you can smell campfire in the distance it like makes me feel like I'm home because it's such a nostalgic scent for me like I really you know how they make candles at like Bath and Body Works and stuff and they say it's like campfire scented but it doesn't really smell like a campfire like it smells like a like scent of like what they imagine a campfire to be but i wish there was a scent that like really encaptured what a bonfire or like a campfire smells like because i would like that candle so much and that would be amazing if any of you know a candle that smells like that please let me know because i would love that the next one says 
have you eaten and drinking water today? Or like, have you had water and eaten today? And I have had water. I have had a pumpkin spice hot chocolate. I have not eaten yet though. So after this, I'm gonna go and make a sandwich because I'm pretty hungry and I need to eat something today. And it's important that you all eat something today and take care of yourself because it's important. So make sure you eat something and have some water today. Even if it's a little snack, like a little bit can go a long way. So please take care of yourself. Um, and yeah, the next one says, what's something unique that you do? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I guess this, I can tell this. Um, when I make noodles, I, you know when you strain the noodles in a bowl and like get the water out after they're cooked if one noodle falls in the drain i have to put a second noodle in the drain because i feel bad that the one noodle just feels left out and like left behind i know that's kind of weird and like sappy but there's been like a million times where i told um beta that and beta is a really important person in my life um for those of you who don't know but yeah, I told Beta that and he thought it was adorable and he kind of laughed. Um, so now every time I do that, I send him a picture of the noodles that are in my drain because there always ends up being two or more. And if I can find those pictures, I'll put them on the screen like right now. But that's something unique and kind of silly that I do. But the last little section is this is a space for you to get something off of your chest so i know that not all of us have the opportunity or the space to vent or like talk about things that we want to or sometimes people just don't ask and so if you have something that you do want to get off your chest like now this is your space to do it like i want you all to have this as an outlet to like say anything happy sad like you just want to rant you want to tell me a fun fact like absolutely anything that you want to put here you can put here um and yeah it's a space to like put wherever whatever you want and wherever you want it so I don't really have anything um to get off my chest except for I'm gonna go make a turkey sandwich now because I'm hungry and I can't find a spot to end the video okay wait this might be okay but yeah and then the final little question there on the google form is please let me know if you enjoyed this video you know if you did enjoy it and you had a fun time like filling out the questions i would love to know if you have like question suggestions question suggestions for the future if i decide to do this again if you all enjoy it let me know and i will include those in the next one but i hope you had fun i hope this was exciting and like if you like i said if you enjoy interactive videos please let me know because i would love to get you all involved in my channel more and know you more personally and this is a cool way to do it um but go ahead and submit that form so that I can read your answers if you're comfortable with that. I would love to like see what you all answered to these questions that I asked. And without further ado, that's gonna be the end of the video because I'm gonna go make that sandwich and make sure you eat and drink something if you haven't already today. And yeah, as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all so much. I'm so excited to read these answers. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.